if I was allowed to bring the tiniest little creature to live with us, he was like, sure, why not? Roswell just kind of gravitated towards Drew. I think that his beard has something to do with it. He will be one way with Drew, and he will be a totally different way with me. Hi. Ow. Huge. Hi. <laughs> Drew will just be like, oh no, I got him. Don't worry. We drove up to the Poconos for a few days and when we came back, Roswell gives him this chirp and then he kind of gives the permission of like, please pick me up by my armpits. They're just loving on each other and then Roswell just swiftly turns around and looks at me just like, <laughs> Oh, you're back too. Hi, DB. I'm like the side chick in the relationship. I'm the third wheel. I'll be sitting alone on the other end of the couch watching them cuddle. Roswell will fixate on me and you can feel his rage. When he's staring at me and giving me those looks, I would decipher those as like, leave your wedding rings on yeah. the table. You've been replaced. I gave him life, essentially, <laughs> but I'm the second choice. I've tried to intervene on their little love fest, but there's nothing I can do. There's even the wrong look, even just looking in general. It's like silent rage. On our one year wedding anniversary, I put on my wedding dress and uh our two year anniversary will be different, I thought. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Probably not. He's my best buddy in the entire universe now. I'm a thirty two year old adult and you know, I like spending my time with my cats hanging out. Be a cat dad. I love it. They're great. All right, don't sell anything, so. But I will say, product not always is advertised. <laughs> Their relationship is one of a kind. <laughs> What's your problem? Huh? Why? I have tried to pry my way into their love and I'm on the outskirts, but that's okay. I will be their third wheel for as long as they will have me. <laughs>